Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You have to find out what is better for yourself. Studying and memorizing, everyone is different in that regard. So some people will better uh, study in the morning before Fajr or after Fajr. Some people in the evening. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ نَاشِئَةَ لِيْلِ هِيَ أَشَدُّ وَطُوْ أَقُومُ قِيلًا uh, Ibn Abbas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that night time is better for your concentration. Ibn Abbas, he explains that this is because there are no distractions. It could be argued that that same ayah can apply for before Fajr or after Fajr. Quran al-Fajr, in Quran al-Fajr, mashhuda. Quran, the recitation of it, is witnessed at the time of Fajr. Therefore, I mean, there isn't anything which is binding. I mean, if you look at the time of the Salaf, some of them memorized a great deal in a short period of time. If you look at the Hamas companions, they would memorize five ayah to ten ayah to not move on beyond that. The main thing is, is consistency. The main thing is consistency. Don't start something and then just leave it because it's difficult. Remind yourself of the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Man salaka tariqun yaltamisu fihi ilman. Anyone who treads a path in seeking knowledge, sahharallahu bihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for that person through that path of ilm to attain Allah's Jannah. Therefore, consistency, you can't just start walking down the road and then turning back. You need to find whatever is suitable for yourself, um, suitable for your teacher if you're going to have a teacher. And you need to remain consistent and persistent on that. It might be that sometimes you... My, because obviously the seasons are different and right now Isha is late so you might want to concentrate after Fajr and, and sit down after Fajr maybe some days you might, you know, in the winter sit down after Isha maybe but the point here is that consistency, your schedule might change but the consistency has to remain so now the second part of your question do you start off at Nas or do you start off at Bakr? it's the same sort of thing here he was asked, what do you start off with? He says, start off with the smaller ones and then go on to Baqarah because of the virtues of Surah Al-Baqarah. But again, I mean, a person might get up to uh, Amma, which is 50, 60 ayat, and then they're going to memorize a Surah, which is nearly 300 ayat, 286 ayat Surah Al-Baqarah. It's a big jump. It's a big jump. And one of the biggest things when it comes to memorization is not so much the new thing that you learn, but keeping in mind the old things that you learn, the revision is really, really hard and difficult. Except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy. But consistency, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَلَقَدْ يَسْرَنُ الْقُرْآنِ لِلْذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرُ The Qur'an has been made as an easy for reminder. Reminder, how do you get a reminder? You can only be reminded if you revise. If you remember one thing and then just completely forget, that's not a reminder. So my point here is is uh, you need to choose a schedule for seeking ilm and memorization which is going to be suitable for yourself and your working pattern. You're sitting here, you finish at 2 o'clock on a daily basis. So that probably means you start work earlier than other people. Um, the children are at school at that time, so maybe, I don't know if you're not tired, start straight away, do it before work, do it in the evening when the kids are asleep. I mean, it's entirely up to you, whatever you think is is working for you and you know you might need to tinker it around a little bit in the beginning you might want to start at one point of the day and then try again another point of the day again it's more to do with uh, consistency uh, another part of your question here and i think this is very important and this i think uh, a lot of people fail in personally in my view a lot of people they think i need to focus on quran and only quran or i need to focus on arabic and only arabic or i need to focus on one particular discipline and leave everything else that is completely incorrect in my view that is completely incorrect i think a person needs to allocate parts of the day or parts of his syllabus or her syllabus to make sure that they are doing everything which is necessary for them to do so if you need 10 15 minutes 20 minutes in reading a book in Aqeedah or listening to an Aqeedah lecture and then half an hour on something else and then an hour on something else that's what you should do and this is the same advice that we got from our Sheikh Sheikh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Lahidan Rahimahullah somebody asked him you know it's a female that asked him a question you know I'm working throughout the day with the kids you know, homeschooling and working at home and all that kind of stuff and I only get about an hour in a day 
uh, what would you recommend? He said, split your hour. And this is his recommendation, but again, you need to see what is, what is necessary for yourself. Split that hour, he said, Rahimahullah, 15 minutes in Aqeerah, 15 minutes in Fiqh, and half an hour in Quran, if you've only got an hour. And he said, try this for a week, try this for a month, you will see that as long as you're consistent, you would have found that you have got a great deal of benefit. But it needs that the person needs to remain consistent. So I think this is again another important point that you've touched upon. Some people they think that I just need to focus on Arabic. I'm going to do a six month Arabic intensive and that's it. I'm going to master the Arabic language and have no regard for the Book of Allah in that period. No regard for what is wajib upon you, what is haram upon you in fiqh, in aqidah, in your connection with Allah. There needs to be a balance in all of these things. So I'm saying choose for yourself a syllabus. Choose for yourself a routine and stick to it and make sure that syllabus incorporates different things which are important for yourself uh, and, and remain firm on that. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he grants us all to our success in whatever uh, we can do to get the pleasure of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and that he makes it easy for us because he is able to do all things. Al-Aleem, Al-Khabir. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.